This is Twit. Google's going to take its self-driving cars into the public starting this summer. You'll be able to see the Google self-driving cars driving around Mountain View. I mean, it's not like... And it's not going to be these Lexuses with the LiDAR on the roof. It's going to be the funny little cars that look like the Tonka cars you had when you were a I would a pay kid. to take a tour in one, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, I'm sad because they're putting a, a temporary... The, 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 the real ones don't have any steering wheel accelerator or brake. But to reassure people, they're putting a human in there and a temporary accelerator brake at steering wheel so that if you see these driving around, you don't go, oh, my God. Well, it's actually, gonna... it's a little more complicated than that. Um, so all the testing they've done is at Ames, which is federal land. Right. And the rules for California don't apply. And the rules for California are saying that to get their autonomous licenses, they need an accelerator brake and steering ah, wheel. So they put those in for so California. So it's not just temporary. It's until the, they can tweak the laws, okay? Yeah. Um, as you know, I cover a lot of automotive stuff, too. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's interesting to see how people will take to seeing these on the road. Uh, well, this they, is smart, they, right? Yeah. This is a, I mean, this is a way of getting those little uh, cars out there and yep. it's all, stick like really, a, it's all about PR at this point. It's, I think if, from a purely, uh, rational point of view, humans are terrible drivers Yes, and shouldn't be allowed to pilot vehicles. If all the cars on the road were autonomous, there would be, I think, far fewer accidents. There would be far fewer traffic jams. Uh, it would be, there'd probably be fewer cars because you wouldn't need to own a car as necessarily. You just call when you, when you want one. Right, would, special purpose cars is what's interesting here. Right. Uh, well, I remember talking uh, years ago to uh, somebody at Google who was doing autonomous vehicles who said, you know, what, you, uh, th what this really is all about is eliminating car ownership. Because if you've got a fleet of autonomous vehicles of all kinds, and you could just push a button, by the way, now I understand why Uber's with, worth $50 billion. If you yep. could just push a button on an app and an autonomous vehicle would show up, would take you to where you want to go. Let's say you're going to go camping. It would take you to the high Sierra where a autonomous RV would be waiting for you. You would get I wrote in. about this in What Would Google Do? And, and, and it was exactly this idea <laughs> that if you Google. became... A, a, a get you there company rather than a sell you a car company. Yes. That you want you want to go out on a date, you come with a Mercedes. Right. Want to go you know pick up the kids, you come with a minivan. You want to go camping, you get a you, camper. It's crazy. We all own multiple yeah. cars, that many of which just sit in a driveway or a garage, and don't get used. So, from a purely rational point of view, this all makes sense. From an emotional point of view, they've got a lot of explaining to do. They've got a lot oh, of PR yeah. to do. Oh, they've yeah. got to convince legislatures they've got to convince users who's going to be the first person to get in a car with no steering wheel brake belt i'll do or it accelerator? i'll do it really would you would go you? over okay jeff would you go over a bridge in one of them no all right. <laughs> 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 well in the bay area See? that severely limits <laughs> your ability to move around like, so, jeff doesn't so want no, to go no, on a bridge in a car with jeff, anybody jeff, I'll tell go us why no ferry. <laughs> no seriously tell us why no why not because I'm bridge phobic. He's phobic. Okay, that's fair enough. But, that's a different thing. But you would trust plus, the car. Plus, Miriam, the 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 uh, Delphi car, the Delphi Audi that went across. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The story said that when they were scared. They were scared because when it hit like the Ben Franklin Bridge, the car is confused by metal. <laughs> oh wow! You know, I, I I cover that car at South by Southwest actually, and I was wondering if they're going to make it problem free. I already took them several days though. There have been accidents, but according to Google, in every respect, when the Delphi car had an accident... According and when to Google? According to Google, that they were all human-caused errors. With quotes. Yeah. All, all errors in the world are human errors. Yeah. You know, that's yes. what the robots will say to us when they start eliminating. You're the error, my you friends. You are the error. Boom. The error. We, can, we machines will kill you. That's right. You are error machines. We are not. That's, that's I, I don't mean. think most people would argue with the logic that machines could perform better than humans. Yeah. In a in a in a normal in a, scenario. In a normal scenario. The fear is that you know you'll have like a Siri moment and your car will just like you know <laughs> drive off the road or yeah, an Apple Maps. I actually I, I agree with you. I think like I really think they need some manual controls. Look, airplanes today fly almost completely autonomously. There's pilots on there, pilots. and the pilots are in there to land and take yeah. off because those are the critical phases of flight. I don't see why you can have, you know, manual control. Like, look, the the semi that was launched by Daimler this this past week or ten days ago now, uh, in in uh, at the Hoover Dam, 
the first autonomous semi that is um, legal, road legal in, in uh, Nevada. And, and, you know, it's Freightliner, uh, Daimler company. And that thing is really clearly designed to just cruise along on the highway in its lane, uh, autopilot, follows the lane, follows the cars in front of it. But as soon as it needs to get off the freeway or pass something, it gives control back to the driver. Yeah, Elon Musk has talked a lot about this where yeah, he, the he blinker sees it, thing, it yeah. should be autopilot, not self-driving or autonomous. I think he's right, though. It's, I mean, people yeah. need to think about it in that context where, well, planes have it, and it's a it's a good thing to rely Most on part. when you don't when you can't focus 100% on the road at all times. But yep. you still need people there to to you know help out if the vehicle is in a you know, a, a lot of traffic. That's actually or not complicated. This is situation. 2025. That's, that's the previous one. <laughs> Look for Freightliner self uh, autonomous truck, Nevada. Uh, I did, I did, I did, but all I got um, was a If you just go to Auto, Autoblog or Jalopnik, they have lots okay. of coverage and yeah. Gadget well, covered Mark, it more you know, that, that, That's interesting. You raised another interesting point here is, is, the, is that I'm thinking about this, is that in a sense, the, the autonomous car, the, the, the autopilot car, has to know whether the cars around it are driven by humans or computers. Right. Because if it's computers, it can go closer and they can communicate. If it's humans, it's, uh-oh, stay away. They're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, I, I think road work is a, is a situation where, you know, there's detours and, like, you know, the, it can't rely wholly on the map. And I know they've got those infrared sensors and stuff on the top. But LIDAR, it's like yeah. there's certain situations where you're driving, you don't really think about it. But it's it would be quite complicated for... Um, for a computer to figure out now, now Jeff, would you be, be willing to jump in these and run, run around the town and in a big truck? Anything? Actually, I'd rather be in a big truck. <laughs> At least if I tangle with somebody, I'd win. <laughs> um, I. But I like the idea of the autopilot. You've talked me down. I thought this would be cool. Yeah. yeah. So I the. Mean, well, but here's here's this is what Google this says. We didn't put a steering wheel in there because people freak out. They make mistakes. It's better to say. You're out of luck. You just go for the ride but that's and what... to let them take control because they do dumb things. Somebody in the chat room asked me when we started talking about this, well, who would you trust in black ice or eight inches of snow? And I, I'd trust the autonomous, autonomous yeah. car. I'm more concerned right now about the, the, the reliability and stability of these systems without a steering wheel and controls to back up in these fringe situations that Mark described, like construction zones. Like, I mean, look, I'm the first one to trust computers, but I also do believe that, that this is, like, going to take a while to really get sorted out. I mean, Google's been making smartphones for a lot longer than they've been making cars, and they still can't make one that doesn't reboot every <laughs> once in a while. Exactly. <laughs> okay, now I'm scared. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and phones. I mean, Apple's the same. Like, uh, you yeah. know, it doesn't matter who you pick here. Yeah. No, you're right. If there's software, there's human error. And uh, if software's controlling your car... Okay, see, I was all excited about this. Now I don't want to ever do it. I think autopilot. Let's go past the autopilot. I don't phase. mind that. And eventually, but, when we're comfortable but that's no with fun. the autopilot, I can't have a nice meal. I can't <laughs> yes, uh, can. read a book because I got to keep my hands hovered. No, no, it'll give you a few seconds, and it'll come to a safe stop. The truck will come to a safe stop if there's no human intervention. That's the false. They fail safe. Yeah, what I understand it, about it Tesla's autopilot it is it'll over. do most things for you, and then it'll. You know, you can intervene pretty easily, but I think what it's... Is, this is going to have the impact of increasing distracted driving. Because you're now going to say, oh, I don't have to worry about it so much. Look, well, I... You're not driving. I... I well, you're, but, but you're expected to be there paying attention. Yeah. I, uh, I, I used the self-parking thing on a Ford, uh, uh, Ford car to crash into a car behind me. No, really? Yes. You did? <laughs> it was fortunately on the Ford test track. There's video of it. Um, oh, that's work? right. That's right. I, I was a self. No, it worked fine. Is this par parallel parking thing? Yeah. So uh, we were on the Ford. We were doing a thing with Ford. We were on the Ford test track, and I and it said, okay. Now he said we're driving along, and they've had all these cars lined up, and he said, all right, there's a space up there. So put on the press the button that says look for a space. So I'm I'm, I'm saying okay, and then the light the thing goes beep when it passes a space I can fit, which and it is a big car, and I said okay, and he said now. Press that button and take your hands off the wheel. So the wheel goes, there it is. So there, you found it, but that was quick. Thank you, Jason. Okay, let's so, watch this. Go ahead and uh, turn yeah, up the not... audio. So so it's going to see that space. It's going to look for that space. Remove hands, put in reverse. And it's then you just, I just really follow quiet. the instructions and watch. So I, my hands are off the wheel. The wheel goes, zzz, and, and it, see that? It's yeah. parked, parallel parking me. 
And it does a, it does a perfect cool. job with one exception. They didn't mention that once you're parked, put on the brake, because you're still rolling. Oh, well, that's not But that's error. my point, is you trust the system, <laughs> and then you forget that you still have responsibility for a three-ton vehicle. And there's the engineers in the back in the car I ran into laughing at me. <laughs> I think every automaker should be required to submit their autonomous software to the Leo test. Yeah, I want to drive them all, and if I can't uh, crash it... Oh, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> but, you know, I felt like they set me up because they were they, they were sitting in the car laughing at me. So I feel like they maybe they said they neglected to say, oh, and Leo, when you parked, put your foot on the brake and turn off the car because it's still rolling, you know, still idling. Right. Yeah. Why so wouldn't they slowly... just have it break automatically? Well, that's what I thought. It's done. I'm here. So here's a question. Is this still drunk driving if the car is driving itself? Oh, well, that's another thing, right? If it's Was driver it assist, you, you, yeah, drunk programmer. How about that? <laughs> drunk, and drunk programming. Drunk programming. programming. Programming high on weed. I'm just saying that the human is the, is the weak flink here. So this whole idea of, oh, well, don't worry. It's just going to be driver assist. That's dangerous, too. Well, so, so Mark, you, as you said, as a punchline, but, but Google hasn't made a perfect phone yet. But, but who is more imperfect, Google or humans? It's really at some point it's a risk mitigation question. Yeah, I yeah. mean that's that's Google's argument for sure. Yeah. I mean I I'm excited about the prospects for autopilot. I just I haven't fully come around to no, being I'm scared. comfortable with it. You made me scared. I'm not going to do it now. Sorry. Leo. <laughs>